Hi, I'm Kiana. I'm a Peace Corps volunteer here in Morocco. And I'm Zineb. I'm her, I'm her counterpart. And today we're doing this video to celebrate Peace Corps Morocco's 55 years of friendship here in Morocco. So Zineb and I are going to talk a little bit about our relationship as Peace Corps volunteer and counterpart. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to throw a little twist in it. So Zineb, can you tell me how we met? We, we met at uh, my aunt's house. You came with your aunt, mm -hmm. your house aunt, mm -hmm. and you were talking there, like today, you know, we're trying to to talk and, like, I don't know, communicate with them. You were struggling like that. Yeah. Yes. And did you help me or did you watch no, me? No, of course not. <laughs> I don't help you. I was just sitting there playing with games. Yeah, so I was sitting there, and I leave, and Zeynep says, oh, so you speak English, in English. <laughs> but as I sat there for the entire conversation the past 20 minutes before, she didn't say anything to me. And that little bit of uh, sarcasm and cruelty definitely made me believe we would be good friends. Well, I didn't know about that, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did. So a lot of Peace Corps volunteers work with host country nationals, and we consider them counterparts. But counterpart is a very sterile term. So a lot of us prefer to call our counterparts our friends. Um, and that's definitely the relationship we have, because mm -hmm. we're friends outside of work. Why do you think our relationship is beyond just a work relationship? Well, I think because like um, we see each other more than we're supposed to do as co-workers, <laughs> if you will. And I think this is how like our relationship developed from like just working together to become friends. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, Zeynep has become my second family here. Her family's my family, and I've spent the holidays with her. And whenever there's a problem, I can go to her whenever mom. Whenever there is tea, or whenever <laughs> there's tea, definitely tea. Um, so we definitely have a a different relationship than a lot of volunteers and their host country nationals, their counterparts. Um, and for that, I'm incredibly lucky. But along the way, we've definitely had our disagreements. Um, how have we managed those, Zeno? Uh, well, so how we really manage them? I think like just like the communication part of it is like like uh, how can I say it? Well, how we solve? Yeah, how we solve this thingy. So like whenever there is a problem, we will just like I don't know talk to each other, try to figure out, like, a common ground that, like, make both of us satisfied with the situation. Yeah. yeah, I definitely agree. Communication for us has been really key to our successes as friends mm -hmm. and, and counterparts, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, lastly, have you learned any lessons during the past two years? Lessons? So, I think how the, the, the language part of it, mm -hmm. I learned a lot of things. Uh, other than the language part of it, I learned, like, I don't know, how to deal with different situations, especially, like, from you, like, a friend, I don't know, girl in, like, a foreign country, that's a little bit hard, it's hard, it's not a little bit hard, it's too hard, like, to deal with, Sorry. but, like, learning from you how, like, you manage this thing, that was, like, really important. Oh, thanks. See, I told you to come here. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> so, in December, I leave Morocco and I complete my service as a Peace Corps volunteer, which means that our relationship or our friendship is going to come to a little bit of a change when I go back to the U.S. and Zeynep stays here in Morocco. Um, but I think both of us are really dedicated to staying friends um, and encouraging each other in the future. The one thing that I do want to say is that you are an incredible young woman and you are an incredible role model for other young women. Thanks. And just spending time with you and being here with you has really meant a lot for me, thank to you. me. So thank you for your time. Okay. And with that, happy 55 years of friendship, Morocco. And uh, happy 55 years of friendship. Keep working hard. Yeah.